Hello everyone, this is Archita and welcome to my YouTube channel Concepts. So in this video, I am going to discuss about the case study on iron deficiency anemia. So, किसी भी disease को पढ़ना is a different thing, but उसके ऊपर जब हम कोई भी case लेते हैं या उसको समझते हैं, that gives us this exact picture of the uh, particular disease. जब हम बात करेंगे case study की, तो इसके अंदर हम देखते हैं the patient profile and then we will see the the chief complaints which is being presented by the patient and then the history uh, of the patient and then we will see ki uh, kon kon se investigations hain depending upon that particular symptoms uh, which is been shown by the patient and then uh, we'll make a diagnosis and then uske basis pe hum treatment uh, us patient ko provide karte hain so this is a case of iron deficiency anemia uh, in an 8 year old male child so here's the patient profile so the name of the patient is vansh pal and he is an 8 year old male child and the current weight of the child is 17 kg so here is a chief complaint which is being presented by the uh, patient is the loss of appetite since 3 months and there is an abdominal pain since 2 month and difficulty in breathing since 1 month and there is a dizziness so here is the history of present illness so uh, an 8 years old male child was brought to the emergency department of the current of the community uh, health center so the child was absolutely well since 3 months back but the child's parents gave a history of a gradual decrease in amount and frequency of food intake of the child and also he has not gained any appropriate weight during this period but there is a history of pain in abdomen since 2 months and which is on cd insidious in nature and gradually progressive but it gets generalized and aggravated on uh, empty stomach and it gets relieved on medication also there is a history of vomiting uh, since uh, like one or two times a week and it is non projectile non bile stained and non blood mixed so it uh, like here indicates that this this is not a case of ulcer or uh, or tuberculosis or uh, or also it is non bile stained so it is often not related with uh, with jaundice and it is non projectile means non forceful and uh, let me just give uh, tell you that the vomiting center is the ctz center which is the chemo receptor trigger zone present at the fourth of the fo uh, of the at the floor of the fourth ventricle so also there is a history of difficulty in breathing since uh, one month and uh, it it is gradually progressive and it gets aggravated when the child was playing and walking but it gets relieved on rest and uh, the child became easily fatigued and his performance in school had also became poor and the, and he is found to get easily irritated now here is the most important point is the history of passage of worm worms in stool but his bladder hab habit was absolutely normal so yahan pe jo main consideration mein lena hai it is the history of passage of worms in stool but it is not associated with any kind of fever cough or hemoptysis and there is no history of bleeding of gums nose or upper gi tract and there is no history of pain in limbs convulsions on weakness of the body parts so this was a history but uh, the child has suddenly fallen down Uh, uh during a brush while brushing his teeth and became unconscious so this is also a point of consideration because the child has suddenly fallen down and uh, no history of abnormal, abnormal movements of body during uh, during the episode uh, this actually clears as that this is not a case of epilepsy and he also regained consciousness after 3 30 seconds and became absolutely normal following this the child was brought to the emergency department of the hospital so here is the past history so there, there is no significant past history and uh, his birth event was completely uneventful and uh, socio economic history uh, like shows us that uh, the child was more prone to of getting infection because there is an open defecation and he also drinks and hand pump water and here is the immunization history so bcg uh, scar is present in the right arm uh, bcg scar which is against the tuberculosis and it is given uh, like when the child was born till one month uh, Uh, from the child was born and uh, the vaccination uh, was act was taken according to the expanded program on immunization schedule and uh, the uh, the family history has not shown any significant uh, uh, thing uh, related to the case and uh, yes now here is the personal history so this is the personal history of the child so his school performance was not satisfactory and it gets deteriorated which is point of concern since 3 months Uh, and his, he has a habit of walking bare feet and eating mud or dirt from floor floor which actually subjects him more prone of getting infections and also he he, he does not maintain any kind of personal hygiene so here is the examination so uh, now the examination parts include firstly the general physical examination so upon the upon the general physical examination the child was found to be irritable dyspneic and looking unwell and uh, he has a paler present on the lower palpebral conjunctiva and there is no iterous sinuses clubbing or lymphadenopathy and few cracks are present at the angle of the mouth so here here is the vice, uh, vitals 
so uh, so the pulse rate is 1 to 10 per minute respiratory rate is 25 uh, 24 per, per minute and bp is 90 by 60 mmhg and uh, the temperature is 98.8 degree fahrenheit so the vitals was also uh, found to be uh, okay and uh, here's the systemic examination upon the systemic examination we found that the abdominal uh, upon the abdominal examination it was soft non tender no organomegaly and biosounds was present and cvs chest is within the normal uh, limits and the cns is oriented to time place and person so here's the investigation so uh, we have subjected uh, uh, the patient to the to the uh, to the uh, CBC findings. So here's the CBC findings. So the WBC and platelets is within the normal range. The RBC is found to be decreased. Hemoglobin is found to be decreased, which uh, makes the subject fall in the case of uh, moderate anemia till now by seeing the hemoglobin level because anemia is what? It is a reduced hemoglobin level or the RBC count. The hematocrit is 30%, which is also reduced and the mean corpuscles uh, volume is 70 femtoliter. Uh, which is also reduced and MCH it is which is the mean corpuscles hemoglobin uh, it is 22 picogram which is also reduced and MCHC which is the mean corpuscles hemoglobin concentration is 27 gram per deciliter uh, it is found to be decreased and the RDW which is the RBC distribution width is 18 percent which is found to be increased so this is these are the CBC findings of the uh, of the child now, if it is the case of anemia, so we uh, particularly subject this uh, patient to a peripheral, peripheral smear examination in order to distinguish between, between the microcytic and the make, and the and the macrocytic anemia. Because if anemia ki baat kare, anemia depending upon the morphological classification, we know that ki anemia microcytic hypochromic bhi ho sakta hai. Macrocytic hypochromic ho sakta hai ya normocytic normochromic ho sakta hai. But in order to figure out ki ha uh, us patient mein kis type ka anemia hai. Uh, we actually subjects this uh, the patients to peripheral smear e examination. Uske blood ko hum peripheral smear examination karte hain. And then we uh, we actually find out that uh, the here is a this is the case of microcytic hypochromic anemia and the RDW is found to be um, increased uh, more than 18 percent. So this uh, often confirms that uh, the patient is uh, like uh, found to have the iron deficiency anemia. Ya microcytic hypochromic anemia uh, anemia mein aate hain. Aapke iron deficiency anemia, thalassemia, sideroblastic anemia. So ab uske andar within hume figure out karna hai ki kaun se type ke anemia hai. Basically agar microcytic hai to microcytic mein kis type ke anemia hai. We will figure out this uh, by further investigations. So CBC and peripheral smear examination showed that the uh, that the patient is found to have microcytic hypochromic RBCs. And based upon these, the differential diagnosis is the iron deficiency anemia, beta thalassemia trait, lead poisoning, and anemia due to chronic diseases. Now here are the biochemical tests of uh, of very much importance. So the serum iron level is 37 microgram per deciliter, which is found to be decreased. Uh, serum ferritin uh, level, that is, which is the storage form of iron, it is a 25 nanogram per ml. Uh, which is also found to have increased and the TIBC which is the total uh, iron binding capacity has is found to be elevated or increased it is 7600 microgram per deciliter so this is these are the bio uh, the reports of the biochemical tests now we here have the menzer index what is menzer index so menzer index basically it is used to differentiate between the iron deficiency anemia and beta thalassemia trait Ki agar we have to that the patient has microcytic hypochromic RBCs. है. But we have to say that 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 we have to we use the Menzer index. So Menzer index is calculated as the MCV by RBC. So if it is less than 13, then it signifies the thalassemia. If it is greater than 13, it signifies the iron deficiency anemia. So here's the iron deficiency, uh, iron study. So it shows that the serum iron level is, is uh, found to be decreased and ferritin is reduced and TIBC is elevated and the person transparent saturation is also reduced. So now here is the uh, here is the Menzer index. So it is found to be greater than 13 which shows that uh, the patient is found to have the iron deficiency anemia. So the above index showed the presence of iron deficiency anemia. Now further diagnostic tests include the uh, abdominal ultrasound which revealed no gross abnormality and uh, we then subjected uh, uh, the patient to stool examination so rbcs or any kind of occult rbc is not present and but the ova is present ova means the hookworm hookworm ki jo ova hai, it is present in the stool and uh, it signifies the infection of the encyclostoma duodenale uh, which is the uh, which is a hookworm so uh, it uh, now basically confirms that that the, this is the case of iron deficiency anemia and the and, and the cause can be uh, due to worm infestations so worm infestations ki wajah se iron deficiency anemia ka case uh, is, has been uh, like figured out so 
at, at, like uh, so the what are the diagnosis that can be made over here so the diagnosis can be made uh, is that the uh, this is a case of iron deficiency anemia with warm infestations to ab hum is patient ko ko hum treatment kya provide kar sakte hain so firstly hum us patient ki deworming karenge deworming is done by the anti helminthic drug uh, which is the albendazole uh, 400 mg stat and the ivermectin 600 uh, 6 mg and then we uh, uh, we also uh, subjected the patient to oral iron therapy where we give him the the 3 to 6 mg per kg per day of elemental iron in the form of ferrous sulfate or ferrous fumarate and the hemoglobin and rbc uh, count is expected to increase after the initiation of the treatment and it is found to be uh, like increase within like a period of 4 uh, uh, 4 weeks and after the correction of anemia the oral iron should be continued for about 4 to 6 months in order to replenish the iron stores सो so, अगर हमें देखना है कि हाँ ये ट्रीटमेंट एब्सोल्युटली ये ट्रीटमेंट सही डायरेक्शन में जा रहा है कि नहीं जा रहा सो आफ्टर थ्री फोर वीक्स वी कैन एक्चुअली सब्जेक्ट द पेशेंट टू रेटिकुलोसाइड काउंट कि उसकी रेटिकुलोसाइड काउंट इंक्रीज हुई है कि नहीं हुई है एंड ऑल्सो हम उसकी स्टूल एग्जामिनेशन करा के चेक चेकआउट कर सकते हैं कि हाँ उसमें ओवा या हु कोम की इन्फेक्शन प्रेजेंट तो नहीं है या ओवा उसके प्रेजेंट तो नहीं है and then also we'll give him the vitamin C tablets. Vitamin C ka tablets ये इंपॉर्टेंस है बिकॉज ये क्या करता है ये आयरन के एब्जॉर्बन को प्रमोट करता है एंड आयरन जो हमारा आयरन के कन्वर्जन को फेरस फॉर्म बिकॉज जो जो आयरन का एब्जॉर्बॉर्बन का जो फॉर्म है इट इज इन द इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फेरस सो विटामिन सी क्या करता है ये आयरन को फेरस फॉर्म में कन्वर्ट करने में हेल्प करता है एंड ऑल्सो इट हेल्प इन द बेटर एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द आयरन देन अगर कोई भी ट्रीटमेंट्स नहीं uh, अगर असर कर रहे हैं देन वील गिव गिव हिम पेरेंटल थेरेपी बट इस केस में इसकी नौबत नहीं आएगी सो द इंडिकेशन ऑफ द पेरेंटल आयरन थेरेपी आर वेन द सब्जेक्ट इज इन टॉलरेंस टू ओरल आयरन और वेन देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ मल एब्जॉर्बन और ऑन गोइंग ब्लड लॉस जहाँ पे ओरल रिप्लेसमेंट के नॉट मैच द आयरन लॉस सो इन दैट केस द आयरन सुक्रोस आई वी वॉज गिवन Uh, can be given one to three milligram per kg, and it is diluted in one fifty ml of normal saline, and it is given a slow infusion over thirty to ninety minutes. So this is the parenteral therapy, and the rarest case me diya tha, and then blood transfusion is given in the in 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 the rare case, जहाँ पे severe anemia का कोई case हो गया, but still अगर अगर हम ऐसा कोई uh, terms आया जहाँ पे blood transfusion की जरूरत पड़ी, so in that case uh, it is required during emergency situations such as acute severe hemorrhage or severe anemia with congestive cardiac failure. और एनी काइंड ऑफ इन्वेस्टिव प्रोसीजर्स इज टू बी कैरेड आउट उसके प्रायर हम देते हैं हम ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूशन करते हैं सो द पेशेंट्स हु रिसीव द ट्रांसफ्यूशन एट अ वेरी स्लो रेट विद हेमोडाइनमिक एंड वाइटल मॉनिटरिंग ऑल्सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज दैट वी विल बी गिविंग हिम एन आयरन रिच डाइट बिकॉज इज अ चाइल्ड सो हमें विल वी हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट कि हमें फोकस करना चाहिए डाइट पे मोर अपॉन द डाइट सो दैट डाइट शुड इंक्लूड द स्पिनेच लेंटल्स tofu and the red meat jaggery eggs which is uh, like commonly available things and citrus fruit for better absorption so uh, so so the diagnosis is that this is a case of iron deficiency anemia and uh, it is dealing with a worm infestation associated with nutritional deficiency so this was the case to case ultimately uh, nikal ke aaye uh, depending upon the, the chief complaints and the investigations that has been carried out over the subject so this is a case of iron deficiency anemia dealing with the worm infestations uh, associated with neural uh, nutritional deficiency so this was about the case study of iron deficiency anemia or other this is how you should present a case study uh, how you can actually present a case study uh, Uh, on on any of the on of the particular diseases so i hope that you find this video helpful and if you find this video helpful consider subscribing to my youtube channel concepts and yes uh, do uh, give me your reviews in the comment section uh, below as it is really valuable to me i hope that i'm able to clear uh, this topic to you guys 